Hi, David G4YVM here from bantana.co.uk. I'm a trusty red Land Rover and the dog's back on Salisbury Plain. Forgive me if it gets a bit noisy, but the army's out here at the moment and uh, there's an exercise going on, so it's quite noisy. I wanted to show you a new product that uh, we've got and it's designed really around this environment that you see behind me. Uh, if you go out portable and uh, you want to work in, in tree, uh, trees, forests, uh, copses, then uh, you might not want the vertical antenna that the sleeve antenna is that you've seen on the website. Um, I also had uh, someone uh, from uh, the uh, SOTA uh, expedition say that he does a lot of um, SOTA work and he really wasn't that keen on the vertical antenna uh, because of uh, erecting it and windage etc. And he wanted uh, a long wire antenna. Well, if you've seen the website, you know that we produce the Pocket Rocket 40 meter to 80 meter end fed. But Alan wanted a different one. He wanted it to cover 80 meters. Well, that's no problem. I said we can make the wire longer for that. But actually, Alan said, I don't want a longer wire. I want a short wire for 80 meters. So, okay, so thinking caps on and we go back to the books. And what we came up with was the classic uh, end fed coil loaded 80 to 10 meter end fed wire so if you buy one of these which is on the website now what you will get is um, the unun this is the qrp 30 watt unun it's got no back on so you can see it uh, that's got the, the uh, uh, 40 i think that's a 43 core in there if you buy the 100 watt version then you get a bigger unun and it's got two very large 43 mix toroidal cores so it's got two of them to absorb all the power so if you're into your data modes ft8 or whatever it will handle that it comes supplied with on a winder uh, with the the length of wire pre-cut and pre-tuned and the coil is fitted to the wire and then uh, it's um, it's sealed quite nicely the coil as you can see is long and thin rather than the more typical short and fat coil and that was deliberate really. Uh, it's very light but it also has a lot less windage than the short fat coils. I also think it looks a bit better if I'm honest. Inside that coil, here's one I prepared earlier, uh, is the copper wire wind around the, uh, the core and then it's securely fastened to the uh, to the antenna feed wire so it actually becomes integral and when you get it that's what you get you get the wire and the integral coil so there's no fitting of coils you don't have to screw any wire on you just literally put your end up it comes with a an end uh, insulator you put that up onto one of the tree branches with a bit of cord and then you roll out your dispenser until you get to that end and that end hooks onto the unun and then that onto the strain reliever and then that simply goes under the bind post and you put it on and you're ready to go. These things, uh, you get a very low SWR. I've got about 1.5, 1.6 SWR on all bands apart from 30 meters. I'll tell you that now. And on 30 meters, it's a little bit higher, but nothing that my automatic ATU didn't uh, tune out. In fact, when I was working on these and developing this one for Alan, I strung it up along the garden. It was about four feet high off the ground. And I called CQ as I do on all the aerials I send out. And I was rewarded with uh, HB9 CBR stroke portable. HB9 Charlie Bravo Romeo stroke portable came straight back 599 using actually this antenna. So I was quite pleased with that. Alan will be jolly pleased with it. I think you will as well. That's our 80 to 10 meter pocket rocket. It's on the website, bantenna.co.uk. Thank you.